Okay, guys. Um, can you hear me? Um, okay. I'm gonna be teaching how to get rid of uh, 1611 on your iTunes. Uh, uh when you sync your iPod, and, uh, and you, so most of the time your some most of the time this is a uh, a port problem or a problem is uh, some softwares take up these ports for some reason I'm not sure why they guess they just attach themselves and decide to fuck with it anyways um as you can see on my home screen or on my desktop um if, I'm gonna just go over to the program that screws me up the most if you have this software please get rid of it uninstall it first and get rid of it it's the mega key please it's great application it's it, it, but if for the safety, not safety, but if this fuck with my iPod, get rid of it. <clears throat> Uninstall it, guys. Um, okay. Let's get to the point. I think 69, how I did this, found out this like, problem. First off, you're going to have to click Control, Alt, Delete, and to a screen. You obviously can't see it. I recorded this, recorded this a couple times. And Watch playback. You guys can't see this. It'll say lock lock this computer. Switch user. Log off. Change password and start task manager. Click start task manager, and this little window should show up. The Windows task manager is. I'm sorry, repeating that, but or just the description. Find and the Apple mobile device. If it says stopped, mine obviously is running. I fixed it. If it's a stop, please just hit services right here. Hit services. Find Apple Mobile device on in the services and click it. Properties. And start it or stop it. If yours will more than likely say right now. If you have your iPod plug in, plug it out. Plug it in and watch this change. It'll say start and it'll say stop like split second later. This is a problem that your your iTunes can not recognize it, but your does and your iPod's still charging, right? A lot of people I've looked this up on the internet for questions. Well there is no fix. Okay. Right now what you have to do is just see if you if this will if you start and it'll stay started for a, a minimum of at least five minutes above, just right then and there, just, you don't even, you can stop watching this and go enjoy your iPod because sometimes it'll just stop for some reason and sometimes it won't. It will never always be because of this specific software. There's a lot. Of, there's probably tons of software out there that does this. Anyways. First, I'll install Mega Key. Go to these menus and start it, and you will be back on your iPod. Okay, that's necessarily the only fix I got for you guys. If anything else comes up, I'm happy to research it or do it, fix it myself, or try it myself. If you have methods or anything, just give me a link or a link with a text document or something. I'll I'll be happy to make you a video. Or all right, guys. Um, thank you for watching, and hopefully this fixes your iPod 1611 problem. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are having serious issues with this. Well, thanks for watching, and comment, rate, and subscribe.